Hello everyone and welcome back to my full release of Nautica Below Zero walkthrough playthrough. Last episode, we checked out the tri land animations, braved the ice worms and the arctic spires, and found another architect body cache. This episode, I'm hoping to find the final architect component. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright, we're back in our base where we left off last episode, and like I said last episode, the only thing we have to do is find the final architect component, the architect organs. And in order to do that, we have to head to these architect artifacts. Now hopefully when we find these, we will get a hint as to where the final architect body cache is, and then we will be able to locate it. And if we don't end up finding these, I have a location that we can explore that might actually lead us to the final body cache. So let's go ahead and grab our sea truck and head to one of these locations, I think we're probably going to head head to the one that's closest so this one right here but in order to do that let's quickly actually change out these power cells here hold on and let's go ahead and charge the one that's at 70 percent in here all right we should be good to go now we have a fully powered sea truck and well i guess let's go ahead and head to architect artifact x3 i have no clue what this could possibly be we might actually not be able to find it because some of these can be pretty tough to find it but i'm hopeful that we can find it if we don't end up finding it we're gonna head to this and if we don't end up finding this we're gonna head to that location i talked about we should be very good as to food water and first aid kit so we don't have to worry about any of that i'm really hoping that we can find this thing okay it looks like it's going to be underground here interesting Hold on, what is this right here? The artifact seems to be down here, but I want to check and see what this is. Let's see if there's anything I can scan here. What on earth is this? Whoa, it's like a claw or something. I wonder what they use that for. Looks like we have some supply crates. I guess I will take those. A nutrient block is always good. Oh, what's this? A beacon. We already have that. We're not really going to need that. All right, not super helpful. There's beacon fragments over here. What is up here? Uh-oh, brine wings. You have to be careful of those. Jeez Louise, those guys are so annoying. Tons of quartz here. I guess I'll grab some of this. We just need to be careful of these guys. These guys will freeze you and it will do damage. I haven't actually been frozen by one of these in a long time, but what I do remember is that it was not good. All right, I guess we're just going to head down into the cave here because it appears to be right here. Let's go ahead and grab more sea truck and do just that. Okay, we're heading down. It's a hundred meters away. We might not actually be able to bring our sea truck in here. Okay, it fit. Okay, yeah, I don't really like that. We might just have to explore it with our sea glide and leave our sea truck outside. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan here. Ooh, there's tons of resources. Let's grab some of these. Tons of resources. Oh my goodness, what is this? Propulsion cannon fragment? No way! We need one more of those. How interesting. I didn't know we could just find propulsion cannons fragments here. Last time I played this game, I don't think I ever even got the propulsion cannon. I guess that's a good thing. All right, it looks like we just need to explore this way. The artifact is directly below us, 83 meters. Okay. Hold on. Looks like the cave goes down here, but I want to see if I can find another propulsion cannon fragment. That would be nice. Doesn't look like there's anything I can scan here. There's tons of caves over here. And it goes down here. I really don't want to drown or get lost. So this is kind of going to be interesting. Our sea truck is this way. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and head down here, I guess. The artifact is in this direction. Maybe we should head in this direction then. Let's use these oxygen plants to our advantage. We can't scan this. I think this might be a dead end here. Yeah, it looks like that was a dead end. How do we get to this? Wait, hold on. This might go directly to it. It's only 40 meters away now. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. This might be it. I think this is it, guys. Okay, wow. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. Useful information would be very good. Water analysis station. Okay, that's interesting. While we're here, we might honestly want to grab the propulsion cannon fragments if we can find another one of those. All right, so I believe if we head in this direction, we can head out of the cave, but since we're down here anyways, I want to see if we can find a propulsion cannon fragment. So let's do a little tiny bit more exploring and see if we can find one. Don't want to get lost, though. I'm finding a bunch of nests, but they don't have any fragments in it. It's unfortunate. Wait, hold on. Here it is. Propulsion cannon fragment. And there we go. We have the propulsion cannon. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, I never got that last playthrough. So happy we could find that. I guess this is where you find propulsion cannon fragments. That is very good to know. I had no idea. Now we just need to find our way out of here without drowning. And I think this is the cave out of here. That's a good sign. 
Yep, and here we go. There is our city trick mission accomplished. We got the propulsion cannon and that alien artifact. Let's go. And here's a call from Alan. Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that Okay, we're gonna head to the other architect, Cash, while he's talking, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of with Robin here. Alan's basically just roasting humanity this entire time. It's amazing. Well... On a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic, but it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Well, that was super cool. We're only about 500 meters away from this architect artifact. I'm a little worried we're gonna run into a chalicerite, to be honest, so we need to be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and find an area to stop right here so we can actually repair our sea truck. All right, and there we go. We're all repaired. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the chalicerite, to be honest. For this one, I actually have a slight idea of where it may be, and I believe there are chalicerites there. So we really just have to be careful. If we see one, we can try and avoid it. But if it attacks us, it's honestly not the end of the world. An active volcano yep, okay. It's where I think it is. And that is a chalicerite. Yep, I was right. We need to be careful. We just need to try and sneak past him. It's interesting, there's actually tons of titanium stuff here. That's good to know, if we ever need titanium, we can come drilling here. But yeah, as the PDA said, there's an inactive volcano here, and I guess the artifact is inside of that. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can sneak by this guy if he attacks us. Uh, it's not optimal, but it's not the end of the world. This is very spooky. Please do not see me. That would be awesome if I could just sneak past. Thank you so much. There's tons of resources here. Holy cow, diamonds and rubies. We already have tons of those, but we might want to grab a few of them. All right, it looks like the artifact is just down here. Okay, interesting. I guess we found what we were looking for. Ellen has still not told us any clues as to where the final body cache is, but that's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and scan this guy. I'm hoping we don't take heat damage. Oh no, our inventory is full. Hold on. Let's go ahead and drink some water and maybe drop something. Let's go ahead and drop some titanium. Alright, let's grab these two ion cubes I saw here. We already have tons of them, yes I know, but you know, it might be useful. And let's scan this guy. Round sampler. Wait, we also got the ion battery and ion power cell blueprints. Okay, I'll take that. I guess now we can build the headlamp and maybe some other stuff. That's interesting. Yep, here we go. Ion power cell and ion battery. Now we can actually make use of our ion cubes. That's honestly pretty useful. And well, I guess while we're here, I would love to grab some materials, but we don't have inventory space. So let's just try and head out of here. All right, I'm hoping we can get out of here without the chalicerite seeing us. We're gonna have to head in this direction once we get out. There's the chalicerite. Okay. Okay, this is very spooky. Please leave me alone. Please, please, please. Okay, I think we might have made it out of here. We just kind of sneaked past him, and now I guess it is time to head back. Oh no, it is yes. Does he see us? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if he sees us or not, but we're heading back to base now. And oh my goodness, this lag I'm getting right now is actually ridiculous. I'm getting so tired of it. I think it's probably just because I'm recording and playing the game at the same time and the game just doesn't like that. But yeah, it's getting a little old. Hold on. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. 
Hold on. I think this is the last piece of the Mercury 2. Yeah, I think this is the detached thruster. Okay, I guess we just kind of stumbled across that. All right. Said there was a uh, thermal activity below. Okay, let's see if we can explore a little bit. Still getting a ton of lag. Okay. What is this? Looks like some sort of like alien technology. I wonder if there's an architect artifact down here. Let's actually do a little bit of exploring and see. Okay, looks like this place goes a lot deeper. Okay, wait, hold on. I think I was right. Um, looks like there's something architect related down here. And this actually looks super interesting. There's like a fossil right here. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. That's very good. All right, we've found three architect artifacts so far. Let's go ahead and scan this. Fossil excavator. This thing looks super cool, by the way. And what on earth is this? Okay. This place looks super cool. I think this is the deep uh, purple vents, I think it's called. Let's see what the heck this is. Looks like just another ion cube. Our inventory is full. We can go ahead and drink some water, though, and I will take that. All right, and I guess it's time to actually head back to base now. These have been some really good finds. And I think this area goes deeper here. Hold on. Those are some fragments. Let's see what these are. Spiral plant? What is this? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. There's no way. Spiral plant and then spiral plant clippings. Hold on. Okay, somebody told me in the comment section we could find spiral plants here. I think they said it was here. I'm not entirely sure. I actually don't remember, but I think we just stumbled across spiral plants. And we need these to make synthetic fibers. This is actually extremely good. I thought the only place we could find these was inside of vent gardens, which I haven't really shown you yet. But oh my goodness, I had no idea we could find these here. I want to definitely grab basically as many samples as I possibly can. Holy cow, I had no idea you could find these here. That is absolutely actually insane let's go let's see i need to drop some stuff wait no i don't i'm actually an idiot we have tons of storage in here let's just go ahead and drop a bunch of stuff in our storage all right there we go all the stuff is in the storage i'm actually kind of stupid for uh, dropping all that stuff earlier but oh well let's go ahead and sample this as much as we possibly can i can't believe i just stumbled across this and there we go new blueprint synthesized from alien resource oh no we only get two out of that I think we can farm these, but I'm not sure if we could. That would be great. Let's also grab some materials while we're here. Tons of lithium and everything. Also, let's go ahead and scan this. What on earth? Sea truck docking module? Is that what I think it is? I think this actually docks the prawn suit. That would be actually so useful. Guys, I think we probably need to explore the rest of this area because there are tons of good fragments and resources here. I think this is another spiral plant here. Let's go ahead and take the clippings. And there we go, we got two clippings. Let's go ahead and keep on exploring. This goes much deeper. We can only go to 650 meters. We should be good. Hold on, let's see if I can find any more of those fragments. All right, it looks like it goes deeper still over here. Hold on. Whoa, that goes really deep. Okay, wait a minute. Is this the crystal caves? Oh no, this is the crystal caves. Oh my goodness, guys. You wanna know what that means? It means Shadow Leviathans. Okay, we need to be really careful here. I wanna go ahead and scan these though. Torpedo arm fragments. I will definitely take that. Let's scan this as well. Um, yeah, I guess we just stumbled across the crystal caves. I uh, don't know if I really wanna explore this area yet, to be honest. Uh, it's basically the most terrifying area in the game, so, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and pin this propulsion cannon now that I think of it. Let's see if there's anything else we want to build. Yeah, and honestly, the reason we would explore this area is for the kyanite. I think we have nickel. I'm pretty sure we have nickel, but we don't have kyanite. So if we could find three kyanite, that would allow us to upgrade our prawn suit and our sea truck to the max depth upgrade. So yeah, I don't know if I want to explore the entire area now, but if we could find three kyanite, that would be amazing. Let's go ahead and eat a nutrient block here. And well, we need to be extremely careful. We need to be as careful as possible because like I said, there are shadow leviathans here. All right, we're on the lookout for Kyanite. Let's see if we can find some. There's some right there. But where is the Shadow Leviathan? I hope there's not one around here, but uh, I don't know. Looks like there's a uh, propulsion cannon fragment there as well. Wait, I think that's actually a prawn suit arm. Looks like there's some more Kyanite right there, and I don't see a Shadow Leviathan, so let's go ahead and grab this. 
All right, we have Kyanite, and let's scan this. Bronze suit propulsion arm fragment. And I guess let's go ahead and try and grab that last Kyanite. No Shadow Leviathan yet, but this place is super spooky. Let's grab it and get back in our sea truck. All right, we just need one more. Okay, let's see if we can find one farther back here. Oh my goodness, this place is so spooky. Come on, I just need one Kyanite, please. Wait, there's one right there. Hold on, I see it. Oh no, we need to be really careful. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. There it is. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, there's a Kyanite right there, and there's a Shadow Leviathan right there. We need to make a run for this Kyanite, but we need to be extremely careful here. Oh my goodness. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. All right, guys, Um, I'm, I'm going for it. Let's do this. All right, I got it. And we're back in our steam up. Now let's get the heck out of here. I don't ever want to come back, even though we're probably going to have to. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the final architect body cache is, and we'll be able to explore it now that we have the Kyanite. So yeah, I'm super glad we were able to just kind of stumble across this, as well as that one alien artifact. That's honestly super good luck. Let's go, as well as those spiral plant clippings. We've honestly been super lucky so far this episode. But now let's go ahead and head back to base. We need to be careful on the way back because I believe there actually is a Chalicerate on the way back. Although a Chalicerate is nothing compared to a Shadow Leviathan, but still though. Hold on, what is this? Sleeper module, hold on. That's super cool. There are tons of good fragments in this area, which is very good to know. Let's see if I can just see anything else. Oh, there's something right there. Let's go ahead and grab this as well. I think this is a, probably another sleeper module. Docking module fragment. This is even better. Hold on. I really want to find one more of those. That would be amazing. Hold on. What on earth is this? Is this another docking module? If it is, that would be awesome. Yes, it is awesome. We have the docking module. Let's go. I honestly want to build that. Like, that would be super useful to have. All right, I've gone ahead and pinned the four things I probably want to build. But now let's go ahead and head back to our base. Actually, this time, I promise, there's going to be no more detours, probably. Of course, we might run into a Chalicerate, but uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Is that the Chalicerate? I hear the Chalicerate. Oh my gosh, she's right there. Okay, okay, the Chalicerite was closer than I thought. We're leaving. We were actually just leaving. Bye. Okay, where is he? He's right there. Okay, don't ever look to see where he is. Okay, that was just a little scary, but I think we're safe now. All right, we're back at base, and there's our two beautiful tribe house. Let's go ahead and say hello to each of you. How are you? Good boy. And you, hello. Aw. There you go. Alright, we're back at base though. It's so nice to be back. And well, what we need to do now is just build these four things I have pinned, and then I believe we're just gonna have to go ahead and explore the crystal caves. That is a completely new biome we've never run into before. It looks beautiful, it's absolutely terrifying, and I believe somewhere in the crystal caves we can find the final architect body cache and be able to scan the architect organs. We haven't really been told that, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. You know, it just kind of makes sense. Let's go ahead and see if we can build these four things really quickly. Hold on, let's take this guy out. Let's also go ahead and grab some stuff from our farm here and eat it. There we go, we're all filled up. And now let's go ahead and unpack all the stuff we have and put them in our lockers. Yeah, it turns out we actually do have tons of nickel ore, which is very good. Let's put the kyanite in here. Hold on, I want to actually see if we can plant these spiral plant clippings. Let's go ahead and put them in the place of a few of these gel sacks here. Wait, hold on. It actually worked. Wait. Spiral plant. Uh, I think they might be growing. They're not showing up here, but I think they might be growing. Okay, that's a little weird. Maybe I shouldn't have planted all of them, but hopefully these guys will grow into full spiral plant, and we will have a spiral plant farm, which would be amazing. Let's go ahead and grab the stuff out of our sea truck. We're actually kind of running out of space in our lockers here. I think this is the last bit of space we have. So we honestly are going to need to build ourselves a few more lockers here to store some of this stuff. I think we should probably put it up here because we have tons of empty space up here. Maybe we could also build some windows up here eventually. I think that would be nice. But for now, let's go ahead and build ourselves three lockers here. Whoops, I forgot the titanium. Let's go ahead and grab that. And there we go. We have three more lockers. Let's go ahead and name the materials. And well, there we go. Let's go ahead and put all our stuff in here. 
Awesome, now we have some extra storage space if we ever need it. And now we actually have a full locker full of ion cubes. Holy, that is a ton of ion cubes. Anyways, we've unpacked everything and now let's go ahead and craft everything we need. First, let's start off with the propulsion cannon. It should be very easy. Awesome, and there we go. Just because we can, now we have a propulsion cannon. Now we're not really going to need this thing, I don't think. We don't really have space for it in a locker. Let's honestly go put it up in one of these lockers. This can be the misc locker. Let's put this propulsion cannon in there. All right, and there we go. Next up, we just need to build the sea truck depth upgrade MK3. We need two kyanite and three nickel. We can easily do that. Wait, that's actually all we need. Hold on, let's go ahead and grab the depth upgrade out of our sea truck. All right, and there we go. Now let's go ahead and craft the final depth upgrade for the sea truck. We're gonna need the modification station here. Wait, hold up. Wait, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the prawn suit depth upgrade. We actually do need a plasteel ingot. Never mind what I was saying. And that is kind of unfortunate. I was looking at the wrong one because we actually only have one titanium. We're gonna have to go grab some titanium. So, well, let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully we can find some titanium. Wait, hold on. Titanium's really hard to find. It'll be a good area to find titanium. Maybe we could actually go on our prawn suit here and drill some titanium. Honestly, I think that might be a good idea. I think if we head in this direction, we reach the Arctic, and if I remember, there was tons of titanium things that we could mine in the Arctic. So let's go ahead and head in this direction. Hopefully we can find some titanium to mine. Okay, I think we're kind of in the Arctic now. Let's look out for some titanium. Hold on, I think this is copper. Let's go ahead and drill some of this, actually. We're probably going to need that as well. All right, we've grabbed a ton of copper. Now let's see if we can find some titanium. There's quartz right there. Where is the titanium at? I also believe there's a cuttlefish egg somewhere in this Arctic region. I have no clue where, though. Maybe it's over here, though. Like, I honestly have no clue. I'm just trying to find titanium, but it looks like there's, like, a cave or something over here. What is this? Yeah, what on earth is, like, underneath the ice? There's tons of jellyfish. What is that? What on earth is this place? I'm gonna go ahead and explore in here. Yo, these are baby jellyfish. That's super cool. Looks like there's like two caves in there. What? Uh, we need to be careful of the jellyfish. I don't know if they're very happy right now. But uh, let's go ahead and see what the heck this is. Maybe this is where we can find a trivo? I've I've literally no clue what on earth this place is. Hmm, what is this? The water changes color here. I don't see anything here. No trivalve eggs or anything. Let's head up here. Whoa, where does this go? What is this? On Earth, there's like bubbles coming out of it? Okay, it looks like there's something up here. Wait, hold on. Is this where I think it is? This is the glacial basin. No way. I think this is where that dock was or something. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, I didn't know this connected here. I guess there's no trivalve eggs. But it's good to know this connects here, I guess. But let's go ahead and head back to our prawn suit. What on earth is this? What is this place? What, what are these? Let's release oxygen. How interesting. Silver ore. More silver ore and copper. Okay, please don't sting me. Is there anything else here? I guess it's just a cool area with some good stuff. Dude, these baby jellyfish? Wait, it's a creature eggs? Oh, okay. I'll grab one of those, I guess. That's pretty cool, though. I thought they were, like, baby jellyfish. I guess not. Whoa. Our prawn suit has damage. Wait, did these guys attack it or something? Oh, that's weird. Anyways, let's get out of here and actually do what we came here for, which is to find titanium. There's tons of quartz here, but there's literally no titanium. This is ridiculous. I thought I saw titanium when I was here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just saw copper and quartz. All right, yeah, I think we're gonna actually have to abandon the search. It's unfortunate. Anyways, let's head back to our uh, base. And uh, maybe we can find some uh, titanium on the way back. We can find some titanium in some of these outcrops here. I guess we can just go ahead and do that. All right, we've actually been able to get eight titanium, including the one we already have. So if we can just grab two more titanium and make it back to base, that would be awesome. There's one titanium. 
And there's the final titanium. That's kind of a scuffed way to get it, but I guess that works. Now we can finally actually head back to base. All right, we made it back to base. Let's go ahead and craft that titanium ingot. Hold on, I think we left some stuff in our prawn suit. All right, now we should be able to craft it. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's also grab some uh, lithium. And now we have a plasteel ingot. We should be able to craft the sea truck depth upgrade MK3 now. Yep, and there we go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and put this inside of our sea truck. And there we go, crush depth now 1,000 meters. Also take out this slightly dead power cell and replace it, and also do the same here. Let's charge these dead power cells. I also need one more power cell for the prawn suit. All right, and now both our prawn suit and our sea truck should have full power. Yep, and there we go. Let's go ahead and unpin this. Now let's make the prawn suit depth module MK2. Let's grab the MK1 out of there. Let's grab the kyanite nickel. And now we have the prawn suit depth upgrade MK2. Both our sea truck and our prawn suit now have the highest upgrade. Hold on. Our drill arm is kind of inside of our base there. Okay. And there we go, crush depth now 1,100 meters for our prawn suit. Awesome. Let's go ahead and unpin this. And now the final thing we need to build is the sea truck docking module. Before we do that, I need to fill up on stuff from our farm here. And there we go, we should be good to go. Let's put some of this stuff in our lockers now. Wait, I completely forgot that five titanium is an ingot in this game. I was thinking about Subnautica, you know how like 10 titanium is an ingot? Man, I've been playing too much Subnautica recently, not Subnautica below zero, oh my goodness. Well, I think that's honestly a good thing that we grabbed 10. You know, I was definitely planning for this the entire time because we're gonna actually need a plasteel ingot for the docking module. Definitely plan this. Let's go ahead and craft that ingot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm this stupid, holy cow. We've been really lucky this episode, but I honestly haven't been the smartest this episode. Anyways, there we go. We have a plasteel ingot. Now let's go ahead and grab three lead. I'm not sure if we have any. Yeah, it appears we don't have any lead. Oh no, we're gonna have to go on a treasure hunt for lead now. But before we do that, let's honestly go ahead and craft the advanced wiring kit. That needs a wiring kit and a computer chip should be easy enough. There's the wiring kit. Wait, hold on. We have an advanced wiring kit right here. I just noticed that. Okay, totally didn't forget about that. Anyways, let's put this copper wire and the wiring kit in here. We might use it later. Yeah, I had no idea we had that in a locker. Must have picked it up somewhere. I think we actually picked it up near the frozen Leviathan. Anyways, let's find some lead. I always have a shortage of lead in Subnautica Below Zero. I don't know if this is just me. Maybe, I don't know, other people also have a shortage of lead. Let me know in the comments section if you also have a shortage of lead when you're playing this game. Because I have tons of everything else, just not not lead. There's one lead. There's two lead. And there's three lead. Awesome. Let's go. Let's head back to base. All right. Let's go ahead and craft this thing now that we have everything we need. And there we go. Sea truck docking module. We can dock our prawn suit on our sea truck now. And look at this. Our spiral plants have grown. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go ahead and plant a few more of these guys. And there we go, we have a full farm of these guys. Holy cow, that's going to be super useful. And we also have a new module. Let's go ahead and attach this thing. All right, let's pilot this thing on. And here we go. Now we have a docking module. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Our sea truck is so OP now. We can also bring our prawn suit. Hold on. I've never actually built this before, so I don't know how it works. Do I just go like this? Oh, th there we go. Um, That's super cool. See, this is why the sea truck is better. It can do stuff like this. Like, it is so OP. It is just much better than the Cyclops, much better than the Seamoth. Honestly, it might be better than the prawn suit. Eject docked vehicle exit sea truck. So we actually have to um, enter the prawn suit from the outside. I was thinking maybe there'd be a way to enter from the inside. I guess it makes sense that there's not. But yeah, that's super cool. We basically have everything we need. Let's go ahead and unpin this. And let's put our sea truck over here. Now we have a super OP sea truck. Let's go. All right, we've basically done everything I wanted to do this episode. We have a power cell charging over here and a battery charging over here. I just put those in. But yeah, we've honestly done so much this episode. It's been super good. And well, next episode, we just need to explore the crystal caves because I believe that is where we need to go next. I believe that might be where we find the final architect component, the architect organs. We're actually going to head there a different way, but you're going to have to wait to see next episode which way we go to head to the crystal caves. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode.
Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video. Are you liking this series so far? Do you have any tips for the future? Have any other questions or concerns? Please let me know. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. It's completely free and it helps you out a ton. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you want to support me further, check out my Discord server, Twitch channel, Twitter, my second channel, and my other Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero content. Thanks to my patrons, Andy, Arian Johnson, Baby Yoda, King Neutral, Cybot, Sean, Skeptic, and Then Nothing. If you want to be awesome, become a patron and support today. All these links are in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.